So I woke up last night and my first thought was, can I cast ice in resin? I guess we're about to find out. So there are a couple of ways we can do this. Now the first one, and probably the most easiest one, is going to be for me to mix my resin. We're going to degas it since we're not going to put it in the pressure pot. Then I'm going to pour it in, and once it gets warm and jelly-like, I'll try and force the ice cube into the middle. Now if that doesn't work, the next thing I'll try is pouring a base layer, letting that set, then we'll get the ice cube on top, pour some more resin, and we'll see if that works. But I really do hope the first way works best. I'm also going to add a couple of drops of blue dye. I don't think this cup's got enough room to degas, so I'm going to have to put it in a bigger one. So now that we've degassed the resin, it becomes a waiting game. I'm just going to wait for this resin to thicken up. Once I feel the time is right, we'll jam our ice cube in. I've just had a thought. If this ice cube continually wants to float, I'm going to have to find a way of keeping it down until it sets. So I've got this clear rod, so if we do have to use it, hopefully it'll disappear a little bit and we won't notice it too much. But we'll just have to see what happens. It's got to be getting close. It's getting really warm now. There's going to be a fine line between it being good and then just set, so we're not going to have a big window here. I think I better get the ice ready. I really do hope this works. It will be really interesting to see how fast the ice melts in there. Now we're getting a bit of steam. I'd say we're getting really close. Here it goes. Not just yet. I'm actually creating some bubbles in here, which isn't good, but it's the only way we're going to find out when it's ready. All right, I'm going for it. Here it goes. I think we're in the middle. Oh, it's in. That's it. That's all we can do. Doesn't look too bad. We're just going to have to wait and see now. We'll let this cool down and set. Then we'll take a closer look. Most of you guys probably remember when I made the shaving brush with whiskey inside or the bottle opener with beer. Now those two projects were done by pouring two separate layers of resin. And now I've been able to do it in one. I think before we take a closer look, I might put this on the lathe, we'll turn it down, we'll give it a polish, and then we'll have a look. I really hope I don't cut too deep. I guess if you see me get wet, you know I've gone too deep.
I think that looks pretty good. I stayed dry, that's a good thing. Now I'm gonna start sanding it and polishing it. All right, guys, are you ready to see this? Check it out. I think that turned out pretty good. So as a proof of concept, this turned out really well, but I think if I was to do it again, I'd use a smaller ice cube and one that was a nice square shape. And the other thing I'd try was put it in the freezer while the resin's curing. You know, I just had a thought as to what else would look pretty good. What if you used a clear ice cube? That way you wouldn't get these air bubbles inside or maybe even using an ice ball. That would look pretty cool too. You could even put something inside while you're freezing it, and then when it defrosts, it'd float around inside. And if you guys have any other suggestions that might work, let me know in the comments. And if you like this style of video where I do an experiment, let me know by hitting the like button. Now you guys might remember another experiment from about 12 months ago, when I put a raw egg in resin. Well next week's Easter, and for the Easter video, I'm going to cut this open. What do you guys think is going to happen there? Do you reckon the heat from the resin actually cooked the egg? Or do you reckon I'm going to cut this open and start throwing my guts up? Well that's all for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll catch you next time. You know it almost feels like a magic eight ball. Will people like this video?